How you doing, fight fans? EJ Boxing live here in Moscow, Russia, um, to watch this uh, cruiserweight uh, championship, cha um, cruiserweight bout between uh, Roy Jones, Roy Jones Jr., and Dennis Leverbed. Right now, obviously, you can see they're doing the, um, the national anthem um, of Russia for Dennis Leverbed. Dennis Leverbed coming into this fight. As um, lost to Marco Hook by split decision, and also dispose of um, Enzo Macaneri in the um, in the third round. So this is the um, master ceremonies. Um, Going to introduce the fighters. Roy Jones coming into this fight. As what was Roy Jones coming? See Roy Jones record coming into this fight. Roy Jones record. But I tell you what, um, this is going to be a really good fight, man. Um, so let me see how this is going to go. Roy Jones Jr. boy, Roy Jones coming into this fight just lost to Bernard Hopkins and he got knocked down in one round by Danny Green and uh, lost to also lost to um, these are notable names lost to Joe Calzaghe uh, twice by Tarbar and Glenn Johnson. Um, he got knocked out in the second round in um, the second fight of Tarbar. He got knocked that second fight in the second round by Tarbar. So uh, he went against Tarbar three times, but he beat Trinidad coming into this and beat um, Jeff Lacey, Omar Shaker, but. Um, it's not too good for Roy Jones coming into this fight. He had a couple of knockouts, man. Bernard Hopkins' last fight was a grueling match. He lost by unanimous decision in that fight. And the one round knockout by Danny Green. Uh, that wasn't a good look either. So, Roy Jones is going through to prove here in Russia. Um, this is the first, I think this is the first time he's actually come to Russia, actually. Yeah, I think this, this is the first time he's actually uh, fought in Russia. So this is his first time debuting in Russia, so in front of the Russian fans. A lot of European fighters, um, we wanted to see Roy Jones a long time ago in Europe. We wanted to see him go against, um, and that's Roy Jones' dad on the corner. We wanted to see him go against someone like um, Nigel Bain, Chris Eubank and Steve Collins. Steve Collins is still chasing Roy Jones up to now. Still wants to fight with him up to now. So, um, but Dennis Leverbib is is, um, is a definitely tough cruiser. Roy Jones in the cruiser with him, he wants to get a cruiserweight belt. Um, wouldn't be the first man to get belts from middleweight, uh, light uh, middleweight, super middleweight, light heavy, and he wants to get cruiser and heavy. So he wants to get like five weight champion, six weight champion. Is it five? Five weight, five weights. So he just reading out. Um, Reading out of the ceremonies, Dennis Leverbeer's record, man. He's a good record coming into this fight. He's got a good knockout percentage, but he hasn't fought the caliber of a boxer or Roy Jones's. But Roy Jones in this division here, I'm not too sure, man. Because Roy Jones be fighting at, if you look at it, he's be fighting at a light, lighter guys at lighter weight. So coming at the cruise where he's come really up the weights. But he did fight against John Maurice and beat John Maurice easy, so. And the referee, Steve Smoker, is going to be the third man in the ring. Steve Smoger, we know about Steve Smoger, man. He's the type of guy that let a fight go continue. I remember him in in um, Shane Mosley, Vernon Forrest first fight where uh, Vernon Forrest and Shane, they clashed heads and they let the fight continue. That was the first time I can really remember where he just fought. Boy, the fight, I thought the fight might have been stopped at that point and the fight continued and a beating ensued for uh, Shane Mosley in that first fight. So that's, uh, what's it? Double S, Steve Smoger, that's his nickname. So that's it, that's the referee out of the way. Over here in Moscow, Russia, EJ Boxing Live. Here. This is scheduled for 10 rounds in the Cruiserweight division. Roy Jones Jr., everyone knows his accolades. And he introduced Dennis Leverbed. He's got Costa Zoo in the corner. So they're introducing him now, wearing black. His, his record. Hey, like I said, Dennis Leverbed was a tough out, tough out boy. Roy Jones coming into group, they ain't taking no easy touches. I, th I think coming into this fight, anyway, let me introduce us. Reading that his record. Yeah, he got only one defeat coming into this fight. It's then Leverbed to uh, Marco Huck, Huck by split decision. There you go. Yeah, no, it's not that you buy up. 
это все часть шоу. Уважаемые коллеги, так должно быть, так всегда бывает. Это все подогревает, подогревает наш с вами интерес. Самое главное, что There you go, that's Dennis Leverbeer that's been introduced, introduced. Dennis Leverbeer that's been introduced right there. What you do is applaud them right there. I tell you what, the beating uh, Dennis Lever gave Enzo was nasty, boy. Beat him up, Enzo's face was busted up. Alright. There you go, middleweight, super middleweight, light, undisputed, light heavyweight, heavyweight. These are all former boy. Champion of the former champion of the world has got uh, Owen Berg in his corner. Roy Jones, man, one of the, one of the most uh, pure boxers in the sport. Oh, there's Nate Campbell in the corner as well. The Galaxy Warrior. Mad support. Roy Jones' corner. 54 wins, 7 losses, and no draws. Here he is, man. The man, the legend. Let's see how this fight's gonna go, man. Roy Jones, boy. See if Roy Jones, see what Roy Jones got left coming into this fight. That was a good uh, introduction by the, the master ceremonies. That's it. Here we go. Costa Zoo in his corner. Let me see how this is gonna go. D Smoke. It's Roy Joe's dad to the right. Owen Berg to the left. So let's see how this go, man. In the cruiserweight, this is Roy Jones' debut in the cruiserweights, man. Debut in the cruiserweight living division, man. And you know, if this was a couple of years ago with Roy Jones versus, I think it would have maybe been a different fight. But I still think it would have been a hard fight. Then Olympic can really punch, and it's not like he has one of them punches here where it's like um, his punches are. Um, they just one punch knockout. It's, it's accumulation and the wear down. He has that kind of fudding wear down kind of uh, power. If something hits you, just wears you down. All right, so we're here in Moscow, Russia, scheduled for ten rounds um, in the cruiserweight division. Roy Jones doing what he normally does, circling the ring. And what he usually does, try to uh, does a lot of feints, Roy, uh, jab to, um, and then try to draw his opponents in. So he oh, beautiful combination by Jones right there. That was pretty good, man. Roy Jones mean business. A good cruiserweight. Yeah, Roy Jones has got the hand speed. He's got very good split speed. Head movement. And he's definitely working off his jab. Very good, man. Keep circling. Dennis Leverbeer is, 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 is a puncher, no doubt, man. So he's just going to come. We're going to keep covered. He can take punches. He's just going to keep coming and trying to wear his opponent down. Roy wants to keep it. Roy needs to keep Oh, there's a beautiful counter by Roy Jones. Roy needs to keep it in the center ring. And Roy Jones uh, putting out that Dennis hit him around the back of the head. Hey, Roy needs to be careful of that though, man. Keep your hands up, son. Good body shot by Jones. Leverbeer is just trying to get in there. He comes in very crude. This just wants to come in there, walk, walk his opponent down and just start working and just, just trying to break his opponent down. Look at that. Good counter by Roy Jones. 
Roy Jones definitely dictating in the first round. It's easy to see that Dennis Leverbridge is, is uh, spellbound by Roy Jones' footwork. Then it's moving in, he's trying, to, he's trying to gauge where Roy Jones is. You see the foot speed and the hand movement, man. It's just befuddling a little bit of it. The Roy Jones, he needs to be away from the ropes, man. See, that's what happened with him and Tarpa. When he went against the ropes, right, Roy Jones shakes his head there, saying nothing was there. He wants to keep it in the center of the ring. Oh, beautiful, right? <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful counter right by Jones. And this is the thing, man, you know, Reed, Reed, look his boxing skills is just like Dennis Leverbridge, and this is a whole new level. Under one minute in the first round. Beautiful body shot by Leverbridge. Roy J Jones arts is back. As Steve Smoker looks on over here in Moscow, Russia. It must feel like an um, American field, though. You've got Smoker there in the corner and a lot of guys there. Oh, beautiful little short uppercut by Jones. Jones body shot by Roy Jones. <laughs> Yeah, Roy Jones just giving a little nod, yeah, like say, yeah, he's let, letting Lillibird feel it. Roy will be careful though, you know. Ooh, good cut. Roy's this very confident guy. Look at that, he's just starting to put on a display out here, talking. But you see the thing is, you need to come off the, stay off the ropes and don't let Dennis work. See, that's where he doesn't want to be, man. That's where you don't want to be. You don't want to be a punching bag for Lillibird let the guy get off on you. You know, look at that. Roy Jones cowering. Yeah, you see what I'm saying to you. It's on the ropes, man. Need to be on the center of the ring, dictating. Whoa, what a big punch by Levith. And Levith came back a bit, but I'll give that round for Roy Jones, man. It's a Jones round. That's some, yeah, it's a competitive round. Definitely, definitely competitive fight right there. Then Levith's just standing there. It's not easy, but it's up to Jones what Jones wants to do. See what they're saying say in the corner. They yeah, cost the zoo in the corner. And then breathing a bit hard. They probably are happy with what they did there. You know what I mean? Jones just let, you know, look at this count right here. Bang! Straight square. And let's see Denlow's trying to get a punch on Jones. Jones is out of the way already. Look at this counter. He hits him. And look at that. Roy Jones moved back and he's already out of range already. And this is because he's got hand speed and he's got, he's got longer arms. Roy Jones is your Roy Point showboat in there. Look at that. He hits. And then it just takes it, but then it's trying to answer back. But Jones is not there to be hit. The only time Dennis can get off is if, if he keeps wearing Roy Jones to the body and try to keep him on the ropes. With Roy Jones gaming. But if Roy keeps it in the center of the ring, I think him, uh, he can dictate it easily and can confidently uh, try and pick off rounds, man. All right, so we're in round two over here in Moscow, Russia, for the cruise in the cruiserweight division. Let's see what Roy Jones here. They're still working off his jab right here. Dennis Leverbid, man, like I said, he's, he's the one pound should just accumulate where you're down. He's probably upset he just on his last fight lost to Marco Huck by split decision. So, um, but definitely the number one guy underneath Marco Huck in the division, though. And see if Jones beats him. Jones is right in the race to become a, a, a cruiserweight champion, man. If he can get past this fight here. Faints. Sphinx, there, beautiful body shot. Oh, what happened there? That trip. If the ropes weren't there, then maybe that would have been a knockdown. They touched gloves. Smoker says no knockdown, and they, they both acknowledged maybe it was foot. I got to see that back in the replay though. But it shows definitely shows that that then level because T he is hard man. These who you don't want to be like on the ropes man. Just stay off the ropes and keep it moving. See, look, he's getting quite. I can even whoa. See, then Lev catching some punches. What you call a boxing? Yeah, as Roy puts his high guard up and he called catch and shoot so Roy Jones will keep your heart up and then catch it in the in the guard and then try to shoot straight after shoot a punch straight after so Roy Jones has got all the tricks in boxing the feints yeah in boxing is very important because it allows your partner to make him throw a punch and then you can cut her off it and also just the moving off the head look at that moving off the head so you, you're not an easy target yeah, the only thing like you, you probably want to work is just use the jab up and down the body. Roy Jones has been so quick that most of the time he doesn't even need the jab. He just use, shoots his right hand and left hook, which is that's his sleeper. You knock the many opponent out with that left hook of his man. He's got a wicked left hook, which he hasn't used it yet. See Roy Jones trying to catch and shoot on Leonard. Leonard was still punches and moves out of range. Pretty good. Kostu's got him in shape for this fight. Oh, good counter. That was a check hook by Leverbib. Uh, Leverbib's a southpaw, man. And that was a good punch by Leverbib, man. So this is this is a trick as well. And you think about Roy Jones against Tarbar. Tarbar a southpaw as well, you know. And Tarbar, oh my God, he's, he's taking away too much punches here. 
So we wrote Jones on the show, but the South was woo, there you go, good body shot by Jones. Lever is still just, just wearing down. We need to keep it moving here. See so against there, keep it moving, keep it center of the ring. And this is the thing, when you fight against bigger guys here, yeah, maybe your power is not the same as you would before with guys who intimidated because you had power and hand speed. But now, um, if you take away the the the, um, the power, then you kind of balance it. It balances itself up. But this Roy got well, Roy's got so many other um, abilities here yeah, that he can beat you with. Like, see this, he's got speed of hand and foot, and that's how it is. Most skilled guy, skilled boxer in the sport right here. Look at this. Beautiful. That's why it's called Pound for Pound. It was named Pound for Pound number one. Uh, obviously, not now. Also, uh, the current Pound for Pound right now is uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. But, or should I say, Money Mayweather um, is the Pound for Pound right now. But Roy's still sharing some real sweet, sweet science skills right there. Hit and not be hit. And this cost is you. Surprisingly, um, they're not making um, Dennis hit. Ooh. They're not Dennis is not um, sitting on on the, on the uh, <laughs> show, but Dennis is not sitting on the stool, so they, they, they must be in good condition in there. Yeah, I think it was a stumble right there. Here we go again. Let me see this punch again. So he punched him. Yeah, yeah. Then you think it. This head. Look at him at the heads. And there's Dennis Lebby getting off some shots right here. I still think that was a Jones round though. Den Dennis done better though. Done much better. How you guys scoring it? Altenberg, um Roy Joe's long time trainer in the corner. It must go Russia. The crowd are enjoying this man. It's a competitive fight. Good fight. A lot, of, a lot of guys come over to see Roy Jones against this um this tough Russian guy. Round three. Schedule for ten rounds. No belt on the line, there's no belt. It's just um which is surprisingly Roy Jones fight for so many belts in the cruiserweight division against this number one contender. Number one, this is the number one guy in the division, the cruiserweight division is uh Dennis Leverbiv. You gotta think why Roy Jones is still kind of fighting at this point though, because uh, he's achieved so much. You know, right now it's Hall of Fame taking too many shots here. You know the thing is, yeah, you can't be taking shots. And see the thing about Jones in his fights, many times in his fight he barely even got hit in fights, man. Getting hit way, way too much in his career for my liking. And um, you wonder how Roy Jones is gonna take this down the stretch if he keeps getting hit with some of his punches here, man. You know, because it, it, like I said, Dennis, it's not just one punch. It's accumulation of punches from level bed who wears you down. And you see they're trying to judge range here. And then you don't have like, sprite on his feet. costume has got him in he must have got in tremendous condition for this fight. Knowing that he's gonna fight one of the best boxers and the skilled skill fighters in the sport today. One of them, well he was one of them. But for level bed, but this is like he's a world title man, winning the world title. I mean he lost to split season to Marco Huck, but he must have been getting in tremendous shape for this one. And see Leverbridge is still moving in the southpaw. Oh, beautiful count on right by Jones. See the little Jones and sponsored by uh, Jordan's got the Jordan brand shoes there with a the tassel. There he's Jones he's got so many like weapons of, of how to dispose an opponent. But again, you know in this game and it's it's the hurt game. So if you can't hurt your opponent, your opponent's just gonna keep coming through. I guess Roy Jones got something here. But you see this in the center of the ring? It's night and day. See when he Roy keeps the center of the ring? He can just dominate the ears. But you see here, this is all leather bed. When Dennis gets in the corners or on the ropes, that's where Dennis Lever is trying to get off and do his thing. See Roy still spinning around. He needs to keep it right side in the ring here. Dennis has had some moments in the, in the rounds. Actually, I ain't sure he's doing pretty well in this round, actually. Probably landed more punches so far. Man is coming up under one minute. Under, sorry, under... Um, 40 seconds under 50 seconds in the first in the third round schedule for 10 cruiserweight division in moscow russia ej boxing live here hope you guys are enjoying this cruiserweight bimit with roy jones <laughs> cheeky little left hook there see the hand speed blaring hand speed still at this stage look at that good body shot as the leverage comes in but then is not deterred still walking forward ring roy jones is just and is just clipping it just slightly a bit for me in this round just slightly Leverett had, had a good action and in the corner of the, in the uh, in the corner over there, but against the roots. But other than that, he hasn't really done anything else. I think this is another Jones round here. Yeah, see, Roy Jones trying to set him up with some sort of haymaker. I remember Roy Jones got Glenn Kelly when he had his hands behind his back. He touched gloves right there, hands behind his back, and he knocked that Glenn Kelly. That was a beautiful knockout. That was. 
And um, James Tony, we just got that leaping left hook. James, not James Tony. There's so many memorable things that Roy Jones has done. It looks okay in the corner. They cut the mouthpiece. Okay. Mm. Put some ball on the back of the head, man. The, and the memorable fight against um, John Marie's man to 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 capture the heavyweight championship. That was massive. That was big. You wonder if if one of these guys went against John Marie's, how would they fare as well? Look at that. See, Dan Lev was getting up some shots here. I think maybe um, the Russian, my Russian colleagues over there, they probably have the bit in that round, probably winning this round here. But look at that, look at that, hand speed right there. See, the thing is, yeah, the, again, it's the power, look at that, counting right here. See, Leverage is catching him, Ooh, good punch on the shoulder. This is where Leverage got had a lot of success there against the ropes. And they probably gave Leverage that round here. I probably gave Roy Jones a round. I've got free, free zip for me going into the fourth round. Yes, All right, so we're coming into round four um, for this Cruiserweight Championship. Demis Lebev in his hometown, home country, um, in Moscow, in Russia, and Roy Jones Jr. Um, from Pensacola, Florida, coming into um, Lebev's hometown to see if he can uh, upset the um, Russia's favourite son, Dennis Lebev. Ten rounds in the cruiserweight division. Roy Jones Jr. considered the best fighter of the nineties. Um, also in the Seoul Olympics, he, he got um. The best fighter in the whole competition there, even though he got robbed. Lev is work, working the body well there, man. Roy Jones answers back with some was a good body shot himself. Beautiful punch by Jones coming back on the counter. So Jones dictating. I haven't gave Dennis Lebev a round yet. Um, not because he he's getting totally out of class. He's actually doing quite doing well, but it's in spots. Jones is probably just cleaner work. And um, look at that good body shot by Lebev. The southpaw Lebev, good left hook to the ribs right there. <laughs> Jones felt it. Good defense by uh, Lebev as well as he comes in. And Roy Jones, and you see all the body shots there. See Roy Jones is missing. Lebev is pushing him back and keeping him at his range. Definitely change of uh, the change of the tide here for Leverbev as Leverbev works the body again. That was a beautiful left hook. Jones answers back. And Leverbev answers back again. This is a very competitive fight here. And Jones knows he's in the fight, and boy, he better be on his game right here because Leverbev's come to fight. Costa Zoo in his corner, the Hall of Famer, and um, I tell you what, man, he's got he's got Leverbev. Well, good, oh, good counter left as well by Leverbev. See Jones showboating as well, being a moving target. Good uppercut by Jones. See Jones about Jones is a beautiful one of the slick fighters here, where he can throw punches. And you can see it clean for the judges. Leverbev, not too sure. Yeah, he throw a couple of punches, but you're not too sure some of them landing if they're not. But um, I tell you what, Leverbev's done much better. Good count on left hook by Jones. Leverbev's doing much better as each round goes. Boy, Leverbev looks stronger and is fit and keeps coming forward. Yeah, Jones, I tell you, what, Jones is in the fight here. See Jones breathing as well, and I can see why because the the left hooks to the body. Leverbev is doing employing to Jones. Jones up against the ropes. I tell you, man, Roy needs to be on his game for him. He knows he's in a fight here, man. And this guy ain't like no tarp or nothing like. That. He's just strong and just coming forward, man. You know, Roy Jones. Yeah, if this is even a younger Roy Jones. Maybe can just box this guy for the for the duration. But man, he's getting drawn into some spots here. I don't really like them. And Leverbib for me is winning this round here. And this is the first legit round I'm giving Leverbib. For me, he's definitely took the took the, the tide of the look at this. He's definitely winning the round for me. As he oh, look at count on the looks much sharp. Whoa! And Roy Jones just shook up a big right hand. Sorry, a big left hook. And he shook up for the first time against him since he'd been shook up by Tarba and Danny Green. And Roy Jones took a beating in the round. Roy Jones shaking his head, but he took a beating right there, man. Yeah. He got beat into his corner. Is that his corner? He got beat back into his corner right there, man. And look, see, Denver standing up shows that he's in great condition. Boy, he took it to Jones right there. Jones, we be careful, man. Really needs to be careful, I tell you, man. Yeah, Roy Jones there, put the water in head. He knows he's in a fight right now, man. That's a big round for Leverbev, man. And big round at that. He's legitly got the scorecards for me on the books. He goes, he's some of the slow man now. This is the some of the slow man now. Roy Jones punches there, good count on. But then, look at that. See, Denver is he's not bothered by Roy Jones' power because he answers straight back as well. Jones answers a count on back. Here we go. This is going to shit. Oh, there's the left. Oh. Yeah, Roy Jones. Look at Roy Jones' face. He felt that, man. Look at his face. Whoa. 
Look at that. See Roy Jones' face? He don't know where he was at that point. You can see in his eyes. And he's lucky that was the end of the third, fourth round. Man, he's lucky. And Leverbridge is getting confidence now. Scheduled for 10 rounds. So he got five more rounds in the back so Roy Jones can, can continue. But that was a big round for the, for the Russian superstar. Boy, Leverbridge bringing it on then. Jones needs to be careful, man. Keep to his boxing. And Leverbridge is feeling it now. And he's continuing where he left off in round four. End of round four. See if Roy Jones can make any adjustments here, man. But Jones knows his in a fight and this is the thing I was saying about the punching power man if you ain't got enough power to keep your opponent off this is what happens the guy got no respect for your power and just keeps trying to walk you down Jones needs to do something for goodbye you know Roy Jones Jr Sugar Ray Robertson and some of the all-time greats yeah that they got skills and everything but when they come against guys who are just not even spectacular in the division but big solid come forward pros man they can have trouble with Joey Maxson and Sugar Ray Robertson is, 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 is the notable names similar uh, Joey Maxson just big and good he had a very good jab and Leverbridge just is more or less the same kind of fighter like uh, uh, Joey Maxson but do, do you know Ray, Ray Robertson fatigued because of the sun that night? Roy Jones is not really the same, but Roy Jones, to be honest with you, like is the is the is the body punches and Larry Bibbs is good 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 conditioning, man. Very good conditioning, good strong guy. And I just I just think it's the power to be honest with you. Um Roy Jones is it. Look, he's catching him, but Larry Bibbs is not phased by what Jones is bringing, man. It's not phased at all. Look, he just keeps shrugging the punches off and just keep walking forward, man. And after that, that does wear you out in itself. If you're hitting some guy in the face and the guy just keeps forward, after a while you get tired. Most people, when they throw punches, you want to see the effect of side gun getting damaged. But you see, Leverbridge is not even bothered. Man, if I got hit in my face, I'm backing off. But you see, is he backing off? Nope. So that means he's not bothered by the Jones's power. And they've seen that. He's tasted Jones's power. Look, see, he hits one punch, one step back, and then just keeps coming forward. And this is where Leverbridge wants to be. See, Jones smartly comes out of the ropes this time. Now, I don't think it's ever a good idea to be against the ropes and just put your hands up and just turn in a punchy bag, especially for so Roy Jones, who's the fight of the nineties, to ever just, to, to stand there getting shots by anyone. No one should, no one should stand there and just keep their hands up and let some guy tee off you like that, man. It's never a good idea, never. And you can see that that's what has an effect, man. Ali done it in the rope with dope, George Foreman. You know, it's never a good idea to do that, man. And if you are doing it, you need to be making the guy miss some. You know, this is where Roy Jones needs to keep in the center of the ring. And Lever is round for me again, man. Definitely. And Roy Jones is breathing very hard. He ain't done nothing much in this round either. Got his hand up. Jones, good feint right there. Yeah, I got this. This is a level with round. Good body shot by Jones, and I think he should have been doing that from early. Actually, he should be whipping some of them body shots, and and it was slow level his legs down or something, man. But level did that early. He employed some good body shots on Jones early on, and it slowed Jones down, where level can now pick him off, and that's a round for level right there. Two rounds for me, man. That's a round level with man. Yeah, so three rounds to two. I saw I scoring it. Yeah, with some water in his head and. You need some, you know, they, 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 yeah, it's hard, man. Boxing is a hard man game, especially if someone who's been one of the best in boxing for so long, man. This is a hard ass fight, boy. I'll tell you that right now. Sea Smoke is doing a good job over there of um, letting the guys fight. And, the, you know, Roy Jones is in it. They got the iron, they got the end swell over there, you know, from some of the swelling. Look at this. And this is all Leverbiff rounds, man. It's all Leverbiff in this round here. Jones is getting pummeled in some of the points. Look at that body shot. And did you see them body shots right there? Them body shots are there. That's the reason why Jones' legs and he's breathing hard because he starts learning. Getting a hit by a big man like Leverbiff in the ribs like that. That's not funny, man. That's not no fun, man. Look at him. He's the first out to answer the bell. Look at him. He's ready. That's another indication there that he's in condition. He wants it. See, Roy Jones was still on his stool right there, man. Being the first then, and you know, he's old as well, man. The age as well is coming, and he's been knocked down a couple of times as well. So Lev is still trying to push to get push it. Round six here, scheduled for ten rounds in the cruiserweight division. I'm EJ boxing live here, Moscow, Russia, the venue. Steve Smoger, the third man in the ring. Dennis Leverbed trying to answer back his first loss against Marco Hooks. He's trying to get back in the winning in the winning box. Jones trying to be the first man to win belts in uh in in from cruise from middleweight to cruiserweight, middleweight to heavyweight. 
the cruiserweight division, see if he can do it. You, you would have liked Jones done this a bit earlier, you know. But instead of going straight up to fight John Maurice, which was good, he could have fought one of the other cruiserweights. But I reckon, to be honest with you, even when the cruiserweight would have given him trouble, I would have liked to see when he drew Jones at mid heavyweight. I would have liked him to see him versus Chris Bird. I would have liked to see that fight. I was, I was really interested in seeing that fight. But what he chose to do at that point is probably was probably done his career in. He chose to just go right back down to fight Anton Tarba, Anton Tarba at um, light heavyweight, and which took sap some of his muscle and his speed and stuff, and his maybe punch resistance as well. And separate since since secretly so because of that situation, he's been knocked out a couple of times, and now he's here in Russia. Which, to be honest with you, I would have liked him to fight in Europe. Right, a bit earlier, uh, Steve Collins, I know of before, uh, Nigel Ben, Chris Eubanks, um, Harold Aboro Graham over there. Like, I would have liked to see some of the fact Darius Mikulczewski in Germany, uh, Roy Jones for, for years, they, they wanted to see that fight because Darius Mikulczewski, that people consider that was a good route, right? Count on by Jones. Darius Mikulczewski, people consider was the linear, uh, light heavyweight champion because he beat, um, Virgil Hill. And um, Roy, they wanted to see that fight for years, but Roy said, nah, if he wants to fight me, he fight in America. That fight never happened. You know, whoa. Dennis Levin was just, just pummeling Jones backwards and forwards again. And I'll tell you what, man, this doesn't look good, man. It don't look good. The amount of shots he's taking, Jones is taking, and he don't need to be taken. It's just unnecessary right here. And Roy Jones is backing up. Good body shot by Jones, though. Still got something, though. You know, still got something left, but it's for me, like, it's just not enough. You know, he used to throw much more punches than this, and he used to be out of range. This the thing with the hand speed, it's just, it's just not there, or something's missing, man. He's breathing hard. He's still got moves enough, like, but it's not enough, like, work, work. You know, he, he, the output for Jones needs to be much more than what he's doing, much more. He's got all the skills and all them things there, and I tell you, he's got heart. Roy Jones got the heart and everything as a fighter, but he needs to be throwing more punches. And Leverage is just, just clubbing punches, just getting through, serious, severely. Just walking down Roy Jones again. And the Roy, look, he's doing smartly keeping the center of the ring. And Roy Jones has stopped showboating this time now. You know, he's taking it seriously. There you go. That's another round for Dennis Leverage for me, man. He's pulling back on the scorecards, man. I got it 3 to 3, man. I got, I got three to three. How are you guys scoring it? Lever was pulled right back on the scorecards for me, man. And we're in the corner right there, breathing hard and end swell. They put the water in the back of Lemon Bed. They look fresh as a daisy, man. He's not even bothered. It looks like a spa for him. Jones look as, looks like he's tired and everything. Body shots here. Look at this. This is another Lever Bed round right here. I right, caught him with a good right hand right there and made him miss. Good punch. See the concern on Steve Smoker's face, man. Look at that. Just missed in there. That's what I'm talking about. Jones is really good at it. hit and not get hit. But see, he couldn't even see that jab there. Look, he can't even defend himself to that jab. The stuff is just getting through now. Yep, yeah, they give him a good pat on the back saying, man, you're doing great, man. Look at that. He's the first to answer the bell, man. While Jones is still on his stool. Uh, you know how he gets up. Usually, like when I think about stuff like like Mike Tyson back in the days when he used to come out the come off the stool, he used to jump out on the stool, man, ready to fight every round, you know, accelerated. And Jones was like a tired guy, Roy complaining about the back of his head. Yeah, see, this must be this days, but that's what happens, man. You know, the guy's gonna be fight. They're gonna land anywhere around the head area. If I know it's illegal, it's called rabbit punches. If you hit around the back of the head, I'm not supposed to do that. But like this is what happens, man. You're gonna get hit and all these awful and Roy's uh left eye look like it's uh closing a bit and taking the punch and necessary punches. See, this is where you don't wanna be. See this here? This here, that's where he where he got the idea now of getting away from the corners, man. <laughs> I think he might have learned two rounds in trying to fill the guy's power is not necessarily a good thing. Yeah, keeping the center of the ring is where you need to be. If you're a boxer, you need to keep there. Good count, right hand by Jones. You need to keep it in the center of the ring and keep keep key or stay off the ropes and keep getting your combinations off, man. That's what you need to be doing. And work the body. See, look at that. Work the body. Lever, see, Lever is actually tiring, chasing off the Jones. But this is what it is. That's how John Marie's was chasing off the Jones, the whole thing. But that was a undefeated. Prime in his prime, hundred percent Roy Jones. That's a different Roy Jones here than you have here. See, this is a Jones here who's taking way too much shots here, man. Leverage is feeling it as well. 
and Lev has seen the knockouts from Tarba and Danny Green, and he's looking to get. He's looking to be on the list to have have Roy Jones on his resume. Be another guy to have to beat Roy Jones, man. And I tell you what, with the punches he's laying on Roy Jones here, it ain't good. See Roy complaining every single, and it ain't looking too healthy for Jones, man. Not at all, man. It's looking real ominous. Roy Jones sags to the ropes here. Lenford's working the body. Roy Jones looking looking like a punching bag right now. He needs to throw something. And I think it's because of them early body punches, to be honest with you. Roy Jones is getting punched from rope to from, from corner to corner here, man. Man, this ain't looking good at all, at all, man. You wonder how long you can take this up for. This 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 is uh, look at that. See that boy, good count right. Just, just look, the flashes of brilliance. But not enough for, for my liking. And then I've got level with round again, man. Lev is pulling away in the scorecards for me, man. By one round. For me, he's pulling away four to three right now. I can call it right now, man. He's just, just done a, he's just out work, Jones. It's not enough output, not enough not enough punching, man, by Jones, man. Enough feints as well. But he's not throwing enough punches in this round. And Lev is definitely bouncing on his feet right there. He's definitely taking a round. For me. Good combination by Jones. Beautiful. Need to move. See the crowd cheering him in Moscow, Russia for that. Under 10, coming up to under 10. 10 seconds left in the seventh round in the cruiserweight division. Look at this. Roy Jones fake. Good count right by Jones. Beautiful again. See, look, there he started to feel it there. Maybe Roy Jones, there you go. He started to feel a bit better there. But it's still, that's a level with round for me. And I got fourth rounds to three, man. Yeah, they see the crowd coming. But they've definitely been, everyone's been entertained. This is very, uh, I won't say it's, it was competitive, but it's entertaining fight, no doubt. There's the ring card guy. I think that's the one who was doing little dance moves and stuff like early run. He's starting to breathe ahead of you now. Yeah, well, he would be because Roy Jones is keeping the center ring and he's making him move around. But still, you, Leonard is good in that round right there. See Jones in the corner. It looks a bit more calm over in the corner. He's done better in that round, though. But still, still live with round for me. And you can see the shit. Let's see the, all the highlights. See, so look at it catching him with uh, the right jab right there from the south pole. Live with. Look at that little short left hook as well. Body, look at sure. Giorgio was caught him in the right hand. But look, see, Levis right there. Not bothered. See, Roy Jones, little flurry right there. See, Levis still in angle to catch a punch. Round eight. See, Levis ready. The first of his stool, man. Ready to go. And I think that's what you need if you're going to fight someone. You need to be in the best condition of your life. And I think Levitt is, man. Well, he, you know, after losing the Marco Hook, man, he wants to make amends for, you know, losing a split decision to the, the German fight, German based fighter, is Marco Hook. And Graham Jones himself wants to, he's got his own ambitions in this division. He wants to be uh, a cruiserweight champion. So if you're trying to be, you've got to beat someone like Dennis Levitt, man. Big, strong, come forward, brute, southpaw. Yeah, not easy, man. Not easy. And Costa Zoo's got him well trained, man. Well trained. And Costa Zoo, obviously Costa Zoo, man, he was a well consummate pro. You know, he never took nothing for granted. I think he got Leverhood in the same mindset. You know, just just keep working and keep hacking away. Now he's got two rounds to do something. I got Lever up by a round right now. See if Jones can answer back. Let me see right here. See if Jones gonna do anything else. Left bit there. Roy, see Jones wants to get out of the corner, get caught again. Nothing landing, not landing success, but he's throwing more punches than Jones here. And look, arguably he's winning the round again. This stuff here, this is a no go. Roy just stumbled there with a the left hook. Look at that. So Levis is teeing off on Jones right now. Jones looks awful. Smogel needs to look look on and see Smogel. Steve Smogel will let this continue. But I think some of the referees will be looking to go to Roy You know, if you're going to keep getting punches, we're going to have to stop the fight, man. Look at Jones's face, man. This by his, this face expression shows that he's in trouble, man. No, he's, Roy Jones needs to be saved from himself out here, man. People look stunned over here. Look at that good body shot by Jones. He needs to do something more, man. Put some more punches together, some combinations that what you used to know him for. Now, if you 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 basic, you're looking like five punches, less than five punches around, less than ten punches around. This is a man who used to throw like 30, 30 40 punches around for his, in his weight class, man. And now Leverbev, someone that is landing like 20, 25 punches around and landing. Look at the accuracy here. 
Look at that. Roy Jones is still, still showboating. I see Ali do this stuff when he was going against George Foreman. Uh, not George Foreman. Larry Holmes, man. It's the same scenario kind of thing. You know, still, still trying to change like you ain't hurting me and stuff. But we know it is, man. This stuff is serious, man. You know, sometimes, yeah, like in boxing, yeah, you, <laughs> he's just getting hit. Man, he ain't throwing nothing back. This is all level bit here in round, round eight, man. I got him two rounds up, round the punch, round the back of the head. See, Jones ain't through nothing. All he uses is on pure on the defense. And I tell you what, man, they got to be looking in this corner to be still thinking about stopping the fight, man. Man, I don't know what went wrong, what went wrong here in his training camp or anything. Well, I'm not taking that away from Dennis Leverberg. He just came to do what he's supposed to do. But Jones here ain't looking like the Jones we know, boy. This is a defensive-minded Jones. And the Jones not offensively gifted. And he's showing it. And it's all up, and this is all lemon pepper. And this continues, man. It's just not good. Let's see Steve Smoke go to the corner. And this is what I'm saying, man. Steve Smoke needs to be a corner, man. You keep taking shots. Like that. I'm going to have to stop the fight, man. Yeah, they're talking. Steve Smoke, they're talking to him. Everyone's talking, being concerned here. And they have to be. Because he's just taking way too much punches here, man. Just like anyone. No one needs to be taking that many punches in any fight. Round nine. Skidged for 10 rounds in the career division. Taking way too many punches here, man. This is all. Look at this. Wow, it's taking way too many punches here. See, look, look he, nothing hurting. Look at that big. And this is what, that's the, the see, that's where the key punches me. See that body shot there, this guy, he rocked back to the ropes. That's why, man. That's why, look at this. Damn one, see that punches there? Them right hooks to the body, to the ribs. Listen, that's the ones that's causing real the damage, man. Them ones there, because look, if you got a guy who's good with his hands and speed, good with his feet, and you slow his feet down by bashing him to the body, and that wears his legs down so he can be more stationary, target, and then you can get your shots off, and that's what's happening. And that's as simple as that, man. In boxing, it's simple as that, man. Someone's good with their feet, you take the body out. If, some, if someone's got, um, if someone's got um, a good head, yeah, you could take shots in the head. You work the body down, same thing. You just, you just do things, your other thing. That's why I call the sweet science. You find ways to just wear down your opponent. Like in my eyes, yeah, Royce could. Uh, Ru the only thing Royce was not doing is is, is clinched in uh, a lot of times. He, he put on defense. He could be hold and spin. As I think more time, you should try and do that. But he's never had to do that in his career. And now he's starting to bounce on his feet now. Starting to. Yeah, Royal boy, Royal. We got two more rounds, boy. So see what Royce can do. But I got level up by two rounds, man. So he really needs to win the two rounds big. See if he does. No, oh, Lever is still stalking him, man. It ain't looking good, boy. Come on, Jones. If you guess you Jones need to do some throwback here. That's a good counter right right there. A good body shot right there. Like, there Jones is answering answering the critics. There you go. That's a that's a lightning a blind. Didn't even see it. And that's what the crowd is see. Blurring left hand right there by Jones. He bouncing on his feet. That's what he wasn't doing. He was stuck in cement. Well the corner must have gave him the right act and something like that because he's come out. In this round, and the drones look like he's pulled it back on the pulled it back a bit. Oh, good. There you go. This is the flash show you remember, drones, man. Throwing punch offensively, office. There you go. This is what I'm talking about. This is the Jones I remember, man. Taking the ring, bouncing his feet, and just being offensively minded. Where he hasn't been. Good. See, they came making the miss now. See, Jones answered. Whoa. Do shaking it off saying it didn't hurt him? Well, I tell you what, that's, that's the best shot of Leverbid so far of this round. But I think Jones is winning this round here. Big shots. Leverbid, ah, see, this is where Roy don't want to be. That's where you don't want to be. Just get off. The, he needs to be off the ropes, man. He needs to be off the ropes and going back to the center of the ring where he was before. Calling Leverbid. So, Denver looks like he's tired himself, man. This is a Jones round so far for me. Oh, good count left by Jones, man. Leverbid still. In the corner, see Leverett's not working now. I think Liverpool must be tired himself. Do a good round for Jones though, man. He's pulled it back a bit. Good counter right by Jones, but I think that hit the guard. See, move, moving, good moving targets. Oh dear. Oh dear. Holding in the back of the head by his Jones. Roy really complaining about his back of the head right there. Leverett coming back in the, coming back in the round, man. A good right, count right. Jones bouncing again. Left. Oh! <laughs> what good count left by Jones? And Levin looked like his legs staggered for a second there. And Jones out of nowhere throws a freaking haymaker. <laughs> he staggered there at Levin. And the crowd jump up on their feet, boy. 
Whoa, is he gonna even jump it over the feet? And that was that, boy. Where did he come from? He needed more of that earlier on. And that's a Jones round for me, man. He's down by one in the, in the score cup. But that was a beautiful counter left. And this is the first time where that Levin is hurt and he's sitting on his stool as because he's reading the right act in the corner. Where he was definitely hurt by that punch there. I tell you what, he's tough though, Levin. Bro Jones Jr. showed you yeah, why he's been one of the graces for a long time. Need to see this counter left that Jones caught him with. He caught Levin with a wicked punch, man. Wicked punch. Let me see if he, is it here? I don't know. This is all Levin when he bounced him back against the ropes. But he look at that jet. Look at Levin his face, man. He's so committed to every punch. Means it with bad intentions. Roy Jones, I don't think they're gonna show the replay. Roy Jones I look like he's bleeding out of his nose slightly. Jones caught him with here we go. I think Jones gonna catch him in the wicked shot. There you go. I think it was that shot right there. Beautiful left, and that hurt Levin. See Levin's legs, look at this. Bang! Look at Levin's look at that. He's just off balance there. And this is the last round. Skating for 10 rounds in the Cruiser division. Alton Bergs, he forgot the mouthpiece. And the crowd cheering as well. That was a good round for Levin. I think Ray needs to, if Ray wins this round, I think the fight's going to be a draw, actually, if he gets this round here. See Jones there. Levin Bev still stalking. Going round. Jones needs, to, Jones need, all Jones needs to do is probably win this round. Then we've got a draw out here. I, I can't really see Roy Jones winning this. Um, unless he needs a knockout right now. I've got Lemberg winning, uh, winning so many in, in the mid rounds right here going up to this point. So, uh, let me see right here. Whoa. See, Lemberg is still stalking. He understands. This is the first time he actually sat in his corner where he's been standing and he could realize he was tired, man. I tell you what, maybe there's some kid kidology right there. Does the CC next man standing and fresh and coming towards you? Which should cost us you trying to uh, make his uh, fighter into some sort of robot and some sort of uh, drone where he just he's not, don't feel no pain, which is good. But eventually, look at that. The center of the ring, they've been bouncing. Lev looks fresh. Good counter right by uh, Jones as well. That's a beautiful punch right there. See Jones flashing it. Oh, they're working the punches there. Jones leaps in. This is a good little fight here in the cruiserweight division, man. And good debut for Joe. Shows that he can mix at the cruiserweight division. Definitely, but um, the power thing, that's another thing. Under two minutes now in the 10th round. And uh, all Jones is doing get through, and I think the fight... Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? The Levis doing what he's been doing from the first and the second round. is getting Roy Jones against the ropes where he's just working. And Jones doesn't want to be here. You know, he needs to be throwing punches right now and get, getting off the ropes, staying off the ropes. Letting a guy tee off you like Leverford is not a good idea. Roy Jones is talking trash. He needs to be throwing punches rather than be talking. Good counter left by Jones as he as he bounces back to the ropes. See Jones waiting to counter Leverford. Leverford is throwing punches. This is all Jones. This is all Leverford round right now. Roy Jones faints. Yeah, counter blocks the counter by uh, his uh, Leverford. But this is a this is an epic boy. Tell you what, man. Everyone's just there. Under one minute left in the tenth round. Oh, that looks like a no that would have been a knockdown if if the ropes weren't there, man. That would have been a knockdown if the ropes weren't there. Oh, that might have been a knockdown. I think that that would have been a knockdown. I think that Jones is winning this round. That's a beautiful uppercut. I see him do that one to Vinny Paz. That uppercut right there. Oh, it's a beautiful teed off a beautiful right uppercut again. And the 30 seconds left in the 10th round, and Roy's looking, Roy's looking pretty good, actually. He's looking quite fresh, and he's doing what he needs to be doing. And as Roy Jones backs down, Lenovic backs him up with a jab. Roy Jones against the ropes. Oh! Oh! What's going on? Oh, my God! Oh! What's this? What's happened? And there's the fight over. Oh, my God, he's pulled it off. Yeah, he's pulled it off, and Roy Jones is down, man. Oh my days, he's down and what an upset. And what an upset. Oh my gosh. And he was looking alright as well. And all of a sudden there's two punches. And Jones is out of his feet and he's down on the canvas. And I didn't even know what happened there. The cameras, everything just went crazy. And I tell you what. It was only it was only under 20 seconds left. Under 30 seconds left in the in the third round. In the, sorry, in the 10th round. And Lever pulls it off. 
out. They've got smelling sauce there to try and revise Jones, and he's knocked out. Cole, let me see this in the slow one. So Jones is against the ropes, and this is what I was trying to say before. Oh, he got caught with uh, a straight left and a double left. And look at this. Jones right here. I think it was a right. A straight left again. Oh, there you go. It was a right. Yeah, it was a big right. And this is, he's caught there. Oh, and he hit one more shot there. Oh, my gosh. That was it. If he took a knee right there, there'd probably been a better. You see, Dennis landing one more punch. He was as he was bent down, he's just bent. And see, you were saying about Steve Smoke. Your legs fights continue. Even he didn't know what was going on. Then they've got one more devastating punch while Roy Jones was tilted over. Look at this. He was just leaning over and he couldn't even see where the punch. Look at that. He's just leaning over, uppercuts right here. He's not even defending himself. Look at that. And one more punch. And the crew to go and that's Jones down and Steve Smoker's was watching. This is what I'm saying about Smoker, man. At some point, we see a guy bending over like that. Smoker could have jumped in. But he, he actually he did jump in a bit too late. And Jones has been knocked out again, man. For the fourth time. I think Jones is that's Jones' wife right there. And that was devastating, man. That was a devastating. See the Russian clan? They're happy, boy. Then they never pulled it off, man. He was, he was surprised himself. He's like, boy. You know, he pulls it off. He beat the great man, and that's a massive win for Dennis Levin in his career after losing to Marco Huck in a fight just before by split decision. So he's guess he's back in the cruiserweight division. See what he goes and does. And Jones himself, man, maybe he should think about retiring at this point, man. I think he's uh Jones is white. Your boy Jones look hot, man. That was a shot right there. I think that's Jones's wife right there. There's a. Uh, Nick Campbell talking to uh, Jones's wife, well, one of Jones's wives, whatever, and Leverbeer over there. That was a devastating. It was all Leverbeer. There were so many spots in the fight. You're looking at Jones, yeah, and he's just like looking and thinking, boy, you know what? On the ropes thing, the same thing he did with Tarbar. You know, just just too much in inactivity. Throw more punches. There were spurts, yeah. But you know, sometimes yeah, you like uh, with Jones, with all the cockiness and stuff, like you, you gotta take some fights very, very seriously. And I think sometimes it's just, just the case of maybe it's just old age and stuff like that. Why he's against the only he can answer that question. I have no idea. But for that man right there, boy, sky's the limits, man. We we'll see what he does, man. But he's hell happy as well. He's back where he blacks where he belongs. And look, he's in his hometown in, in, in Russia, and he he won, man. I was. Hey, that, that was a, that was a surprise and a surprise to everyone that did, man. Yeah, he won, man. Hey, boy, that was a very competitive fight, man. You can't you can't even downplay it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. See, Roy Jones still in the corner, recovering, nose bleeding. The, the doctor looking at Jones over there. Yeah, there's a value F over in the corner, man. It's devastating. But that's what happens, man. You know. Just, just devastating. Look at this. Faint. Look at that. Roy Jones caught him there. See that good block right there. But listen to this. It only flashes of what Jones could bring right there. But he couldn't keep enough of it. And Dennis Level was. I, and I, I think he wasn't bothered by the Jones's power. That was a knockdown to me. I seriously, I thought that was a knockdown. That looked like a knockdown to me. That was a knockdown. There's only the ropes holding him up, man. Look at this. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, maybe actually, maybe one a punch. Maybe it's tripped actually. Maybe, maybe Steve Smoke got that right. That's there. So anyway, we go to the master ceremonies in a minute. Maybe it's right over there. See, then live go come over to Steve Jones. Just taps on his shoulder. Say you'll be all right. They say yeah, man. Shake his hand and that's that. And that's that's what it is. It's not. I'm not personally Nick Campbell scratching his head thinking what the heck happened here, man. Tell you, man. Everyone over there just concerned and stuff. Armberg. Man, to see Roy Jones Jr. laid out like that in Russia, man. People are like, whoa. They're all Americans. They're all shocked, man. But this is what it is. It's the hurt game. And, you know, Lebebev just bringing that power out here, man. Hey, the master ceremonies now, man. Я даже не пойму, я разочарован. Или сейчас. Ну, друзья, вы удовольствие от боя получили. Огромное. Вы не разочаровались. Все остались довольны. И украина телевизора, и зала. 
Yeah, man. And see the crowd che cheering, obviously. Like, man, that's his home. Listen, it's home fans. Woodrick came, he came, he saw, and he's beat the legend and knocked them out, man. He's on the list of one of the guys who beat Roy Jones, man. I tell you, boy. I tell you, he's happy about that, man. Yeah, he's happy about it. I mean, boy, he's never beat Enzo Marconelli. They're going to talk to him. They're going to talk to him. Well, listen, man. It, ah, well, you, you know what? We don't need to hear or hear, hear whatever after. That was a great fight. Um, Shame about Roy Jones. We'll see what he does next. But, boy, listen. It's just one of them things there, man. It's just time. No one could beat time. Time for catches up with everyone. And, uh... End of the day, the, hey, Levy, he, he he done it. He, he put the work in and caught Roy Jones at a certain time. And then, if this happened a couple of years ago, would it have been the same? Well, I don't know. But what what we do know is the right man won at this point. So, and that's what we can say. I uh, hope Roy Jones uh, thinks about his career, thinks about doing something else. And so we can say, man. All right, so I'm EJ Boxing Live, and I'll catch you next one. Peace. DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here. Yo, this is Chris Caban, chilling with my man DJ Boxing Live, one of the hottest, dopest boxing channels on YouTube. Check them out. The folks are being surprised on the DJ Live YouTube channel. And he was uh, the number 10 rating contender, and he had never been knocked down. And Sonny destroyed his mouth. But Thea lost most of his teeth. Basically, with one or two left hooks. Oh, shit, boy. What was look at kids sleeping like Manny Pacquiao? EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here.